Hello there, it's Monochrome. This is part three of the series. We are going to configure the Dunst notification daemon program. It doesn't really require a lot of configuration, let's be honest. It's super simple. As you can see, this is our notification daemon at the moment. It lacks a lot of things. Let, let's, let's be honest, it does lack a lot of things. So we are going to edit it, edit the config and make it better. All right, so this is the default um, configuration file that comes with Dunst. It does have almost everything set up. All you have to do is change a handful of things. Okay, the first thing we are going to change is the width. As you might be able to see, the width, width is too much, you know. We want to shrink that down. So we can like put a bracket here and then give a range 200 to 300. So the width will be 200 unless it needs to go beyond that then it becomes 300 see now the volume is smaller that's what we want height we can change it to 200 top right is where i prefer the notification but offset is 10 by 50 which means like 10 pixel to the right and 50 pixel down i don't exactly know from the origin origin is top right so i think 10 pixel down and 50 pixel down should be the case because you know it's quite long okay 10 pixel to the left and then 50 pixel to the top i don't want that much of a gap it just makes weird i only want it to be like here so I'm just going to do 5 by 5 and see how that goes. Yep, that should be enough. Maybe 10 by 10 also wouldn't be bad. Maybe I'll have to kill all duns. Yeah, 10 by 10 is also quite nice. I'll stick to 10 by 10 for now. So next thing is progress bars and uh, that's the bar that we showed you. We can keep most of the things the same here and we'll go back, go, uh, I mean, go down until we see something. Here we have frame color, which is the border around the notification. I prefer it to be black so it doesn't look hideous. So if you look at now it has a black border. And we are going to change the background as well to black so <coughs> it looks kind of nice. For which we'll have to go down. Let's give it monospace. Um, 10 for visibility yeah that should be fine once you go all the way down to the config you'll find uh, you'll find this experimental urgent low urgent normal urgent critical this is where you change all of those all those colors because there are three options, uh, there is like uh, urgent low notifications, there are urgent normal notifications and there is urgency critical notification. Critical notifications, notifications are red in color and they don't go away. But low and normal are kind of the same, I guess. I have not seen any low urgency notification yet. So, so all I'm going to do is change these. And we add highlight, which is for the progress bar color. And then we'll do the same for everyone. <coughs> Here.
here in frame color we are going to use the same frame color as the background for the critical so that it looks like a full block of red instead of another color in the background uh, uh, instead of another background uh, border and here highlight can be red as well I don't think there is any reason for that to occur because there is no bar there is no progress bar when you get an argent thing so I'm not sure why you would want anything but here is if the background and the frame color are the same all right <coughs> now that's done we can save that and then run kill all dunce to kill all the dunce instances that, instances that we have and then we can just yeah this is pre pretty much it as you can see the brightness changes the volume changes if i want to send a notification notify no not notify notify send hello this this is me it will show up like that that's kind of it for danced very simple 